Amen. So, could I went over some very nice points this morning, showing that, um, showing the word of the Lord illustrates and explains itself. It, it is its own interpreter, its own expositor. So we're gonna take the same rule in which, in which, in which we just learned and saw, and now we're gonna add add stories onto the the very same rule. So, um. So now we're gonna look at Mark chapter three, verse twenty-three to twenty-six, and we're gonna keep this same thing. This, this illustration, the Lord uses stories to go and show forth a truth, a truth in which, in which that we all must know at this time, especially the things that is for our present time. For because it says it is what that the flock needs now, present truth. Present truth. All right, Mark three verse twenty-three says, and he called them unto him and said unto them in parables, how can Satan cast out Satan, and if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. So now, Christ just connected a kingdom with a house. It's both one and the same. And both of them show the same illustration. And said that Abraham commanded his what? His household. And his household, in, in a natural sense, was, was, was against itself. Because you had Isaac and you had who? Ishmael and they and 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 these two were, were were now warring. So so then the bond the bond woman and 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 her son had to be what? Cast it out. And now this house is one. And now this house can stand because it's built upon God's principles only. The son of the promise is there and the father. The father and the son is in this one house. And this is how it should always be. That's right. So sin and Satan will be cast out. Amen. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. And the son of it, the, the, the first of it, the firstborn son is Ishmael. Satan. Amen. It's, it's symbolizing Satan. Amen. So, amen. That was just an illustration of a truth amen. of the casting out of Satan and sin. That was just an illustration. Just, just from these three verses in which we just read. The Bible does this in every verse, every text, every chapter. Amen. Verse 26. And if Satan rise up against himself and, and be divided, he cannot stand, but hath in what? An end. So we can illustrate that same end, the end of Satan, with um with the same story with Abraham, Isaac, Ishmael, and Hagar, because the showing the end of Satan is the casting out of this bondwoman and her son. That is showing his end, and this man is bound, and he go, go, goes forward into the wilderness as as a wanderer. That's what Ishmael did. That's what Satan will do. So, so all these things are it, is many illustrations of this truth and his word, and and we have to see this and understand that that satan's kingdom is divided this this is a rule that we that 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 we all know but we must really yeah view it more in the light in which god god wants us to see it because the time in the end it, it is the battle between what and what the king of the north and the king of the south canar so, went over this as well so you have to keep that in mind ev 589 paragraph 1 um just the two bolds okay yes it says error cannot stand alone and would soon become extinct if it did not fasten itself like a parasite upon the tree of truth error draws its life from the truth of god so we just now said that in time the end shows the battle between the north and the south and when you look in look in look into american politics the north is what the Republicans and the South is what? Democrats. Democrats. But we know that this is who rules both sides? Satan. So both of these powers draws draws its um draws its strength from truth. The North will come and and then say things that sound right and true because it's drawing its life from truth. Likewise the South. Same, same thing with Trump, same thing with Biden. They're both, their heads is Satan. But, but the scripture says, says that um, the deceived and the deceiver are both, are, are both gods. And God rules over both of them. Oh, Swindon and then Kennard. Another illustration mm. that I believe you just read it. It says, Era, um, if it does not fasten itself like a parasite, mm -hmm. what does Christ say to us? Fasten ourselves fasten onto him. 
Amen. Yes. This is also uh, how we amen. That is nice. Error. Yes. It's another so illustration of it. So that we can draw light from, from the truth. Amen. Mm-hmm. I like that. That's yes. A good, that's a good. That's what we want to see. Amen. Go ahead, Kanar. Now I was gonna say we finish off by saying that Christ also controls us. Amen. He control, controls all three of them. Mm-hmm. Because Peter says, or Paul, they're ministers sent Amen. by him. Amen. So they're, mm-hmm. the, the evil Republicans and Democrats are also Christ ministers. Amen. You know, he sends them when he's ready. So on January sixth, Christ sent, sent them. them. Amen. Ah. A disciple is. And Christ sent out the 12, 12, 12 disciples as well. He, Christ um, controls all, all, all points, the, the, the wise and the foolish, the, the deceived and the deceiver himself. All of them are controlled by Christ. Amen. Next. Bold says the parasite of error also bears its own fruit. It makes manifest that, that its character is diverse from the plant of heavenly origin. Okay. Next paragraph. 1SM 202.2. The track of truth lies close beside the track of error, and both tracks may seem seem to be what? One to minds which are not worked by the Holy Spirit, and which therefore are not quick to discern the, the difference between truth and error. That's why some men hold and say that Trump was right, and, that, and that's why some men hold and say that Biden was right. But their minds are not being worked by the Holy Spirit, because this is all this is all, all error. This, this, this is all um a ploy from Satan. So that your minds will be pointed to the true king of the north, which is Christ. Next one. Um, 1T293, paragraph uh, 1. says, as we near the close of time, the human mind is more readily affected by Satan's devices. He leads deceived mortals to account for the works and miracles of Christ upon general principles. Satan has ever been ambitious to counterfeit the work of Christ and establish his own power and claims. So this is just showing this. This is just a counterfeit of God's work. All right. Um, and now the next portion says with scripture in his mouth. It's speaking of Matthew 4, when Christ, Christ was in the wilderness. Satan came to Christ with scripture in his mouth. And you have to, you have to, your mind must be worked by the Holy Spirit so that you can discern the, these two tracks clearly. And Christ's mind was worked by the Holy Spirit. That's why he overcame Satan in the, in the wilderness. So now we're going to look at Dan 1140. It says, and at the time of the end shall the king, king of the south push at him, and the king of the north shall come against him like a whirlwind. All right. So just as we said, we see this battle between the north and the south. So this right here is this, um, this is the earthly view. And also when you look at the four winds, you have the north, south, east, and west, east, Islam, South, South Dragon, but you can, yeah, the people, but they're all of the same dragon spirit because of Satan. North is the Protestants, and the West is the, the Ten Kings. But they're all ruled by the dragon spirit, and this is the earthly view when you're seeing the North and the South. So in the United States, in the, in the civil, in, in the Civil sense, you have this Republican versus the Democrats, but also in the earthly view, you have the Protestants against against um against the the men of of this earth as well, the Protestant churches. But there's also a heavenly view because we just now read that Satan counterfeits all that Christ does. In the heavenly view, as we said before, this North is Christ, South. Satan, showing this conflict in Daniel 11, 40. It's this Christ versus Satan. But you can also take it to another level where you can see north and south under Christ's kingdom because Satan's just only making a counterfeit of Christ's um, Christ government. So, have some point. That was a hand? Okay. Have some points here with north and south. In the north, the, these are all things in which, which we have just applied um, Applied the North to and the South to as well. The North, law and order, papalism, Protestants, Republicans, monotheistic, Babylon, conservative. But the South is, is opposed to the North. And, and the South is atheism, it's the Democrats, anarchy, polytheistic, France, and, and it's liberal. Egypt, amen. Oh, yes, I don't have Egypt in there. Yes, Egypt. And, and also Sodom, if you want to, uh, from Revelation 11. So, go ahead. All different characteristics that illustrate the, 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 the respective powers. 
Amen. Different characteristics illustrating the respective powers, as Rashad just said. So, um, so all these things are Satan's getting the, these things from God. These are he's he's taking something from a truth from God and, and attaching error to it as a just as a parasite. So this this battle between the north because we just started off with Satan's kingdom is divided. The north and south is divided. The north against the north is divided, and the south is against the south. So on, on all fronts, Satan's kingdom is fighting itself. The north and the north, south and the south. And a, a his, historical event to illustrate that, with the north fighting itself, you, have, you had the two popes in the time of Wycliffe. It was the pope fighting another pope saying that, and one pope was saying that he is right, and the other pope was saying that he is right. And they both and they both put forth um put forth laws laws to fight the other pope. So you have the 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 church. Go ahead. Yes, John Wycliffe's time, where you have one pope fight another pope. That's north against north, but they're all on the Satan's kingdom. So that's south. So 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 these southern men, this is all Satan's kingdom. These southern men are fighting themselves, but under Satan's kingdom in this earthly view. It's north against south. It's just like Pope Francis and that other pope. I mean, yes. Amen. The conservative Pope, Pope Francis and Pope Benedict, liberal, both, they're fighting. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Amen. They're, they're all battling each other because... Um, the ten kings fought against themselves, and they, and they lost, and then the woman was put in place. It, you see this illustration many times in history. We've, we've, we've taught it and taught it and taught it. Is it someone else who was saying something? <coughs> they probably do. I bet you they, they most likely do. Ah, uh, yes, yeah. I'll, yes, I was going to bring up that other point. Yes, yes. So, yes. So, you have, you see this battle all the time. And the scriptures is what shows this battle. That's the only thing that, that where we see this battle, Satan's kingdom is really divided. And Christ saw this. Um, uh, I, I believe it's Christ, and I think Paul did it as well, where... I think I think it was Paul where Paul saw that some group was 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 of the Pharisees and another group what, what, what was of the Sadducees. And then Paul said one thing and then and then they both fought against themselves. And then Paul was free, free to go. And that's what happened with if you go look in GC in the 70s or 80s with, with, um, with Wyclef as well. This is what happened with them because because the popes were fighting. She, she literally says that um, that Wyclef had, had had this time of peace. Because 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 they, they were internally fighting themselves, God's people have this time of peace. And Amen. Amen. Amen, yes. And Wycliffe used used that time to go and preach. And we know down here we had these four horns four horns come up. And and in Dan eleven four, the four horns battled each other. And then our work here is to go go do what? Go, go, go forth and work. Um, get, get the lost sheep. So Wyclef has given us an, an illustration of what we must do when you see these two southern men fighting each other, or these two northern men fighting the fight, two northern men in the south fighting themselves. Go ahead, Val. There's a number of hands. Or Nice. Yet they will improve every opportunity to advance their common interest, but the great commander in heaven and earth has limited faith and power. Amen. So, yes, yeah, nice. The Sadducees. The Sadducees. Amen. That's the only time they agreed. But they were fighting against each other constantly. And we must see this fight, and we must use this fight to our advantage. Christ did it, and Paul did it, Wycliffe did it. These are all, these are three witnesses that when we see this battle, 
this battle, we, we are to see it and use it. We, we must know the time and the season that, okay, this is happening. This king has come up. Therefore, this is our work in response to what is happening now. Go ahead, Val. Yes. His kingdom represented by Rome, God, God's people, we can see it with clay because ah, that's nice. We shall never cleave. Strong to clay, mm -hmm. but then Rome infiltrates and mingles its iron and clay, so it makes this kingdom divided. We see that with Protestants, where it used to be a united Protestant power, mm -hmm. a sect of Protestants. Come on. And it's not ever going to be. And these sects of Protestants will put aside their differences and go, and join together and go against God's people, just like the Sadducees joined together. Amen. 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 To remove. Aim, uh, nice. Amen. Mm -hmm. And that and, and and that must be burned burned off. It's the dross. Amen. Oh yes. Amen. <coughs> Mm -hmm. Amen. Oh, go ahead. Um, I was thinking that that how the additional details of first Peter two, um, maybe yes. the from turning back and having to do with the, the rewards. Amen. Yeah, because um the Jews went and fought fought against um the Romans and the Christians saw this. Ah, this is our time to flee. because I mean, they saw Satan fighting against Satan. And then they, they use this time to go and flee because the destruction is coming. Go ahead. So that's a, that is an evidence, another evidence to what we have to do when we see um, the breaking of the notable horn and these four horns rise up. Amen. Because in between the, the rise of the four horns and the breaking of this notable horn, there was civil war amongst the, the nation of Greece. Amen. These men in general were fighting to be the head. Amen. So... Just as Rashad just brought forth, we all these things we have to literally understand because we are to study the events that are taking place around us and do what with them? Compare them with the predictions of God's word. So, just um, Rashad was citing Dan Lemon four. Yeah, Dan Lemon four. When these four these four horns come up after the notable horn breaks. So when this notable horn breaks, we know that it is our time to go forward and and um. And go go forward and 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 unite as one, because because the world right now is having this false unity. But we must have our we must have this true unity, and we must go forward and seek and save the lost. And and it's and it's no and it's no coincidence that Alexander the Great he killed himself by by drinking. So even with this one man, you can see that Satan's kingdom is it is, is divided. He killed himself. Okay, so. An illustration of this, uh, actually, that's that. we'll, we'll, we'll read Isaiah 19, verse 2, 3, and 14. And this verse, th these verses tell us that Satan's kingdom is, is divided again in a different way. Because the Lord illustrates the same truth in different words. That's why one says, one says they cast out demons by the word, one says sword, one says finger, one says spirit. But they're all showing the same thing, but the Lord illustrates the same truth by different words. Likewise, Isaiah. Matthew said it in Matthew 24. Um, sorry. Mark said it in Mark 3. And now Isaiah saying it in Isaiah 19. So let's read it. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptian. And they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against ki kingdom. What does this sound like? We went, went, what, what verse? Matthew 20, what? Matthew 24. So now Matthew says this very same thing, but, but he's adding something else. Matthew adds, the, th this is the beginning of sorrows to it. But Isaiah is showing a different illustration of the very same thing. Verse 3. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof. And they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizards. So because e Egypt is against Egypt and neighbor against neighbor, city against city, nation against nation, who comes up in verse 3? The Protestants. Amen. It's the Protestants. It's the ones, it's the, the charmers, the ones with the familiar spirits. It's this church power that comes up. And we will look into the story of Abimelech yet again. 
And the reason why we can use the story of Abimelech is based, is based upon all that Cunard just went over. This is just showing an illustration of Satan's kingdom divided against, him, against itself. It's showing the very same truth that Satan's going to fall. That's all it's showing, that Satan's going to die. And there's a lot in there to connect what you just said, because verse 2 says, and I will set. Ah, yes. Abimelech, he says, I will send a fire. Amen, yes. So, so it's the Lord doing all these things. He, he, will put this, he will put this evil spirit in their midst. And verse 14 tells us the same thing. It says, the Lord hath mingled a what? Perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and, and they have caused Egypt to err, and in every work thereof, as, as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. I was, I was thinking the same thing. Alexander's this drunken man. This, the, this is an illustration of the end of Alexander the Great. This is an illustration of the end of Satan. He's this drunken man that, that dies in his, that, that perishes in his own vomit. And, and in those, those he, he, he chewed up and spat out and vomit out, he will die in the midst of them because, because um, his own people end up piercing him. So all this is just, it, yet again, is showing the end of Satan. All right, we already um, went over Matthew 24, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. So now, um, we're going to look at Abimelech, but a point I want to bring up from what Canaan was going over, it's not, not, it's not in the notes, let's go to Luke 12, verse 54. Going back to what Canard went through, think about the times and the seasons. Because all these things are a sign unto us. That's what he was going over. All these things are a sign. So when, when, when you see these things happen, we, we, we must know what will come. It says, Luke chapter 12, verse 54. And he said also to the people, when you see a cloud rise out of the what? The west. And, and this he came from the what? The west. So when you see this, this power come up, continue on. Straightway you say, there cometh a shower. And so it is. Amen. It's the latter rain. So when you see this Biden, this he goat come out from the west, it is the time of the latter rain. So what is our work? Ask ye of the Lord rain in the time of the latter rain. How long was Daniel praying and fasting? Three full weeks this whole time. And we were studying, I believe, this week or last week. We saw that. Huh? Oh, yes, yes. Okay, yes. Another point. Um, I can't remember. Okay, yes. We were studying earlier this week or last week, I believe. And it says that, um, she says that prayer is a key. And this key opens up the windows, the doors of heaven so that this shower can come forth. And the shower is not, is, is, is at the end. It says there cometh. A shower. So when we see Biden, when we see this cloud come out the west, we know that this is coming. This, these are the things that we must understand. We must see these things in the light of our time. Verse 55. And when, when you see the south wind blow, ye say, there will be heat, and it cometh to pass. So these are the times and the seasons we have to see another power coming up. Come up. Amen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Remember when you, uh, he's gonna go back to Abimelech. Yes. Fire. fire. Okay. So somebody from his camp is gonna rise against him. Amen. And we know from that. What does the verse say? Uh, the, the, there, there will be heat. Come, yeah. Amen. That's go ahead. On the external, which is the internal. Amen. So I'm saying he says he caused the east wind to blow. Mm -hmm. And by his power, <clears> out of the south wind. Yes. He rained flesh also upon men of dust. Amen. Amen. Uh, the the one is getting and the, the manna, the, the showers. Amen. Amen. Okay. Amen. Amen. The whole, the whole, um, the whole chain of events. Amen. And these things we must know. Literally, we must know these things because we are a people of prophecy. We're students of prophecy and we have to see these things before it comes to pass. That when it comes to pass, we might what? Believe. Believe. Okay, we have to understand this. Another point I want to bring up from what Kanar was saying. He was, 
He stated that um, a king is a season. A king is a season of time. And this is true. And at the end, what, what, what comes up? Four kings. All four seasons at one time, based upon what we were just reading in Psalms and in Luke. You have the south wind, the east wind, the west wind. All four winds. All four seasons are taking place at one time. Is that natural? No, it's not natural. Amen. They all receive power one time. All four seasons happen at one time. That's not natural. But the Lord ha would have it so to give us an illustration of the execution of the judgment. To show us the end. Go ahead. But uh, it said, then it says, out of one of them. Ah, yes. So all four seasons now go into to one. one. Uh -huh. Revelation 13, one. Amen. Four is in one. Amen. Hmm. Oh, yes, yes. The, the, the one beast. Amen, yes. Amen, yes. Yes, the, the, the one beast has, has characteristics of all four. So those four just end up being one. So we... we Amen. Yes. And it, it, it's just a constant battle. Amen. Um, man. And now since, since you said that, it's fine if you don't finish the notes. Since, since you said that, if you go read about the Jesuits, they are evil people. They are, they are, they are really evil. And Sunan just stated that, um, uh, that the little horn comes up out of, out of those four, out, 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 of, out, out of all the chaos, this comes up. And you go read about Jesuits, I think GC2 something. The Jesuits were the, are the only ones who will benefit from it. That is what well, she says. I mean, Amen. Let me, yes. Let me see if I could find the quote very quickly. Amen, yes. Mm-hmm. But another thing, keep in mind, the Jesuits, they are Catholics, but the Jesuits themselves are like their own separate entity, and the papacy is its own separate entity, because the papacy and the Jesuits, they fought against each other already, so it's going to happen again. So, mm -hmm. Yale and all those places, Oxford, all those are, all those Jesuit, yep. Let me see if I can find the quote very quickly. But if not, I'll say it again. Um, okay, yes, here it is. GC 279.2. I'm just going to read the last sentence. But you can read all these things um, in your own time. The last sentence, and I'm only going through this just to show the same illustration that Satan's kingdom is divided, and we, want, and we must see this division happening under Grisha, because that's what happened historically, anciently, and it's pointing forward to our time. It's the only reason why I'm going through this. Satan's kingdom is divided. The north and the south are all south, but in the south, you have this north and the south, and also in this north and south, you have, you have north and south. It is confusion. In the north, you have north and south. In the south, you have north and south. But it's just this one. Satan has thousands of ways to, to go and deceive, but Christ uses one, truth only. Go ahead. 279.2. Yes, amen. And, and, and she says, it bears its own fruit. And, and, and the end of that fruit is just death. So, amen. So the last sentence of GC 279.2 says, The Jesuits alone flourish in the decaying nation and rule with dreadful tyranny over churches and schools, the prisons, and the galleys. So this is what will literally happen. And all these four seasons that happen at one time, all this confusion, the Jesuits. That will that will um, that will flourish in this decaying nation, like what? And when you go read what some of the pioneers state, the pioneers also said the same thing about the papacy. So the papacy says, "I have come come up on ruins, and I will come up on ruins again." 
So the spirit of the Jesuits and the papacy are both the same. They're, they're, and, and they work in unison, but they're also divided against themselves in some instances. And it's, it's just pure confusion. So just as, um, so this is just showing um, this, this division that will take place. And we have to understand this, understand this division. Go to Judges 9. Go back to the notes under the heading, The Downfall of Abimelech. And we place Abimelech as, um, Abimelech symbolizes Biden at this time, the time in which we're now living. And Kanar brought up the point that someone must start this whole chain of events where the east wind's blowing, south wind, the north wind, west wind, everything's just happening at one time, but something must ignite it. Ah, uh, yes, amen. It's the trumpet that, that yes, it's the trumpet that actually starts it. Amen. That is an, another story to bring in to understand all these things. So, Judges 9, verse 22. When Abimelech had reigned three years over Israel, then God sent an evil spirit. So, this is exactly what Isaiah said. Isaiah 19, the Lord hath mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof. So, it's what he does here with, 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 with Abimelech. Put this evil spirit and this perverse spirit, one and the same. Amen. Yes. When, oh yeah, I didn't see that. When Abimelech had reigned the three years, so the three years must elapse, then this happens. When that, when the three years are done, this happens. So we must understand this three years prophetically for our time. Then God sent an evil spirit between Abimelech and the men of Shechem, and the men of Shechem dealt treacherously with Abimelech, that the cruelty done to the three score and ten sons of Jerubal might come, and their blood be laid upon Abimelech, their brother, which slew them, and upon the men of Shechem, which aided him in the killing of his brethren. And the men of Shechem set liars in wait for him in the tops of, tops of the mountains. And they robbed all that came along that way by them, and it was told Abimelech. And Gael, the son of Ebed. Now, this is where I'm thinking, within the southern power, I'm talking about in, Satan, in, this, in this view, this Christ against Satan view, Gael is this one that rises up. Um, Gael is the one that rises, that, that begins this chain of events to go and have all these four seasons blown, all these all these rather winds blowing at the same time. And Gil, the son of Ebed, but that's a thought that has to be established, but we will see what he does. And Gil, the son of Ebed, came with his brethren and went over to Shechem, and the men of Shechem put their confidence in him. So he took their confidence because the men of Shechem are the ones that put Abimelech into power, but now the men of Shechem put their confidence in this other man, Gil, the son of Ebed, and now Gil, the son of Ebed, goes against Abimelech with the same men, that, that, that put their trust into Abimelech. So this is a clear illustration of, of the truth that Satan's kingdom is divided. All these things are just an illustration of the same truth that Satan's kingdom is divided. Um, jump to 28. And Gael, the son of Ebed, said, Who is Abimelech and who is Shechem that, that we should serve him? Is not he the son of Jerubbabel and Zabel, his officer, serve... The, huh? Jerubbabel and, and Zabel, his officer... Serve the men of Hamor, the father of Shechem, for why should we serve him? So, Gael, the son of Ebed, is fed up with, with the rule of Abimelech. So now, he, he, he gathers, gathers his own men to go against Abimelech. Satan against Satan. Kingdom against kingdom. City against city. Egypt against Egypt. Because this perverse spirit is in their midst. Oh, go ahead. Amen. Amen. Saint. Amen. It's it's a con. It is it is insanity. It's this constant, perpetual want for power, and everybody has the same spirit of want for power. So therefore, everyone's gonna fight someone else because they want power. So it would just never end. That's why that's why Christ cuts it short in righteousness. All right. Yes. They are all is all, all of the same so spirit. So they're here. So there's like they can come up like in different different ways it comes up, but very 
Amen. So, what you're saying, you have this deceived and the, and the deceiver. The deceiver, in the highest sense, is, is the woman. It's, it's just sin. It's the mystery of iniquity. Where did this come from? It's this evil heart. It's sin. And the deceived is Satan. But then, when you bring it down another level, the deceiver is Satan. Because he has this woman ruling him. He has sin ruling him. But Satan now become, becomes, this, becomes this deceiver. Yes. And then he goes and deceives men or, or ministers. Then the, then the ministers become deceivers. And the people are the deceived. It's, this, it's the same um, structure all the way through in his kingdom. Amen. Amen, yes. And um, Satan sees his end in, yes, but within himself and within those in which he has deceived as well. So it's, it's, it's a fearful thing to be left, um, left from, from, yeah, from God because you're, it is, it is, it's a fearful thought. That, that, that's all I'm, you can't, put it into words because this this kingdom here is it, it doesn't make any sense it is it is really it's just pure evil it's it's because it's showing the trouble he's causing is the trouble in himself yeah he's, he's just, just, it, he just showing it outwardly yeah he just he just puts out there his his own thoughts his own heart and he's he's really troubled cuz Christ is giving the opposite he's giving peace amen himself is what he's trying to give the peace in his heart is what Amen. So, and, okay, pay attention to this story. Pay attention to what this, what's happening in the story as well. So, um, I'm going to erase the things on this, on the, this side. Because we're going to see these, these things in the, um, in the civil government. So, we have Abimelech. who symbolizes Barnum for this time. And we have Gail, who rises up. Whoever th this person is for this time, this person rises up against Biden. But this, you can see this system is, is really evil. Just, we'll, we'll read it. Verse 29. It says, and would to God this people were under my hand. Then would I remove Abimelech, and, and, and he said to Abimelech, increase thine army and come out. So now Gael rises up, up against Abimelech, and he wants to go and battle him and go and fight him. And this is why this war happens later on. But verse 30, and when, and when Zabel, the ruler of the city, heard, heard the words of Gael, the son of Ebed, his anger was kindled. And he sent messengers unto Abimelech privately, saying, behold, the son of Ebed and his brethren be, be, be come to Shechem, and, and, and behold, they fortify the city against thee. So you have this other player now. Zabel, who hears the words of Gael, but tells Abimelech of this, of this civil war th that will soon ensue. What are you saying? Yes. Oh. Amen. And this man sees it coming and tells Abimelech. So we see this. This man sees the, this insurrection happening, and he goes and tells Biden. And we're gonna. This is what's literally gonna happen in in the United States. Yes. And, yeah, and they warn. But now we're gonna see what he does. Zabel, that is. Um, verse. Uh, uh, 32. Now, now, therefore, up by night, thou, thou, thou and the people that is with thee, and lie in wait in the field, and, and that shall be that in the morning, as soon as the sun is up, thou shalt rise. Okay, yeah, this is Zabel speaking to Abimelech. It said, and, and it shall be, verse 33, that in the morning, as soon as the sun is up, thou shalt rise early and set upon the city. And, and, and behold, when, when, 
when he he and the people amen come out against thee then mayest thou do 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 t -t -t -t, do t -t -t, excuse me do to them as thou shall find occasion and abimelech rose up and all the people that were with him by night and they laid wait against shechem in four companies and Gael the son of ebed went out and stood in the entrance of the gate of the city and abimelech rose up and the people that were with him from line and wait and and when Gael saw the people he said to zabel so now Gail sees sees um sees him sees him to come to fight him and now he now Gail speaks to Zabel and it says behold there come people down down from the top of the mountains and and a man said said unto him thou seest the shadow of the mountains as if they were men. And Gail spake again and said, See there come people down by the middle of the land, and another company come along by the plain of Mionimen. Then, then Zabel said unto him, Where is now thy mouth? Wherewith thou saidest, Who is Abimelech that we should serve him? Is not this, amen, that, that, that thou hast despised, go out, I pray now, and fight with them. So, Zabel is this double agent, basically. Zabel is working on both sides. Zabel, he comes and hears, he, hears the words of Gail, and then go, and then, and then, and then he tells, um, amen, of, of those things, but then goes back with Gail, and then tells him to go and stand here. He, Zabel is setting up both of them. He's, this, this, this man Zabel is, is he's an evil man and, and if you will read I believe some of the I think it's one of the commentators or the pioneers when they write about this they say that Zabel was was the was the officer of he was the chief officer of of um of uh, of of uh, so he was working on he was working on the side of Gil's um he was seemingly working on the side of Gail, but he actually wasn't on the side of Gail. So you're going to have all this corruption and all these battles happening within the government. So, amen, there's nothing new under the sun. Oh, yes. A amen. And now that is just showing. Amen. So we read in Judges 9. It says that the men of Shechem dealt what? Treacherously with Abimelech. So Isaiah 33 verse 1 says, Woe, woe to thee that spoilest, and, and thou and thou was not spoiled. And, and treacherously, and they dealt, excuse me, and they dealt not treacherously with thee. When thou shalt cease, cease, to, to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. This was happening once the, the three years elapsed. And, and when thou shalt make an end, end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. This is all the evil that he done to the men of Shechem's coming right back on onto him. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. This is, this is what's going to happen to Satan. Go ahead. Yeah. And you read earlier <coughs> from Judges 9, mm -hmm. um, verse, uh, verses, verse 24. And it says that the cruelty done to the three score and ten sons of Jerusalem might come. And their blood be laid upon Abimelech, their mm. brother. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Now when you read Isaiah, this is also teaching the destruction of Jerusalem. Uh huh. Because the blood, when, when the Jews were oh, yes. peace, then the trouble came. The people that the Jews made the league with, the Romans, mm -hmm. were the same ones that came back at the end. And, and destroyed, destroyed them. Amen. Amen. In, 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 in the evil kingdom, but it's also in the true, because Christ is the true Christ. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. Amen. Yes. So, all this is just an illustration of the same truth. It's an illustration of the end of Satan. And it's just, it's, it's this same war between the North and the South. But in, in the American government, the North and the South, they're not, they're, within, within both North and South, you have North and South. They have, have the same division. As we saw with, with Mitch, Mitch McConnell and, and, and all of them going against Trump. But there's some that are still staying with Trump. So you have this divide there. But it's also in some Democrats because of um, a bill that, um, that, um, that Biden wants to put forth, they are actually against it as well. So you have this, the very same thing, and it's in, in, in only swell. So, okay. Mm-hmm. Amen. The, the only the only way is that just as Kanar was saying, you must you must choose death when 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 the man of sin comes. When he comes and says choose life or death, you're gonna choose death. But now when when Christ says choose life or death, you're choosing life. And the life is is that death. It's, it's the death of the old man so that the new man can be brought in. So I don't profess to know everything of this of this chapter, but however, um, all these things are showing, showing the, 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 this battle between the North and the South. So we're going to show another illustration of this, um, of this, of this, of this truth that Satan's kingdom is divided. It's showing the Tower of Babel. Oh, another point. We can go look when Judges 9 at the end. We have this fire coming down where both the men of Shechem and Abimelech is punished. They're both punished. So at the end, both North and South. They're both punished because you see this at the cross. Christ was punished and Satan was punished. It's all it's the same illustrations over and over and over again. Satan was, was, was unmasked and the um, Genesis 3.15 was now fulfilled where his head was bruised and Christ's heel um, was bruised. So they're both punished, both north and south. And wicked. Amen. Demonstrating the same truth. What do you mean? Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's explain what, what? she. I, I think I, the how. If I understand what you're asking correctly, since White says that Satan was now unmasked, and now Satan's administration in his kingdom was shown as 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 this baleful, horrible. Evil, yeah, evil um, kingdom. Yes, the angels now saw. Yeah, and amen. Amen. And now that that same that same thing will happen again. When now when now um, man will now see. Yeah, Satan's kingdom is really evil. The papacy shall be unmasked. The Jesuits shall be unmasked. The Republicans will be unmasked. The Democrats will be unmasked. All all of Satan's Satan's yeah, Black Lives Matter, Antifa, Islam, whoever it is. They all be unmasked. The principle is that Satan will be unmasked. That's all his kingdom. Amen. Yes. And this is what Kanar was stating um, before that we were to see the changing of the seasons from, from Clinton to Bush to Obama. But now the Lord is allowing us to see it again with Biden. He had to see this change of seasons and understand what season we are in. And it's and the Lord makes it puts it in that in that situation in, in that illustration to to really see how far we have fallen, how dark our minds are, wherein we can go out in summer and not and not know it's summer. That is that that is that's ignorant. So his it is really Christ is really showing us like our our separation from him basically. So another illustration of this where now they are all all one, but then but then they they go and fight each other. Tower of Babel. We'll close off with the Tower of Babel. Okay. So, can someone read verses 1 to 4, please? Genesis 11, 1 to 4.
Sam had worse than them. And they said, go to food, let us go to food. So I tried, he taught me to drive and drove us into the community. Left his dad, left his dad, emptied his dad in the well on the big rock. Okay, so this, this one horn in Daniel um, 8 is this, it's showing this worldwide kingdom. So it's what Satan wants, this worldwide kingdom where he is king. And now the Tower of Babel shows, illustrates the same truth of Satan wanting his own kingdom. This was the, she says that the world, the world was in its infancy. And this is Satan's attempt in its infancy to bring about this one world kingdom. But Satan's going to bring about it in, in its, when, when the world is in its maturity with, with the UN. So when the world is in its maturity, you're going to see this very same thing again. The same illustrations, the same principles, excuse me, will be illustrated again when, when, when the seventh kingdom and the eighth kingdom comes up. All the same things. Go ahead. The king. That's what Swin went over with Saul. It's the yeah. same thing. The people wanted Saul, but God chose Saul. All right, if you come back, say it. Really? Okay. Aim. Oh, yes. <clears throat> ah, amen. So, now someone just brought brought about the, the same same illustration that all this is showing Satan's kingdom and um that that he wants this universal Sunday law, everyone to be of this one language and of one speech, everyone to be united. That's what I was going to say. Amen. His, his whole campaign, yes, is this oneness. Amen. Amen. It's just to bring about this one, one kingdom just to go forward and fight against Christ. That, that's his only thing. So, verse 4 says, let us make, a, make us a name. And Kanar went over it um, two, weeks, two weeks back, I believe. Where that the, these um, is the slain of men. These names of men shall be gone there. And just as you said, their authority is gone. So at, at the end, the, these men's names will be taken away. They're slain of men. Their titles are now gone. And, and they made this one world movement so that they can keep, keep this authority and power. But it actually goes right back. It is this, their whole plan destroys themselves. Ah, amen, yes, by another authority. Amen. Cannot stand. <clears throat> but it hath an end. And this is the end of the Tower of Babel right here. The Tower of Babel is broken at the end. Just illustrating the same, same principles of Satan coming to an end. So, verse 5, And the Lord came, came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one. And and they, they have all one language. So we have to understand what this one language means for this time. I don't profess to know it. But you know, one thing you say is that behold the people is one. one. America right now is one. Amen. It controls both the house and, and the Amen. One. And now nothing Great Dominion. Ah, amen. Yes. And nothing shall and as the, the text finish, um continues on, and this they begin to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. So just as Kanar was just stating, this is what's happening with Biden's administration. He has he has the executive branch and he has the he has the legislative branch, both Congress and the House of um, Representatives. Yeah, b both of them. He has both of them. He has this. This is showing this great dominion that Alexander the Great rules with in Daniel 11. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So, but we know that this kingdom shall be broken at this point. And the Lord is doing it in, his, um, in mercy because he sees and knows that we, we will not be ready for this, for this time here when men are, yeah, when, when men are one and, there's, and they're not 
not restrained. This is an illustration of what 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 will come because they they shall be one again but 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 the Lord even breaks that when their full restraint is taken away and they go for doing what they want the Lord still shows that he is mightier than the many verse 7 go to let us go down and there confound their language that they may not understand one another's speech so the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth and they left off to build the city therefore is the name of it called Babel because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the for upon the face of the of all the earth so at the end have the scattering you have a hand oh sorry I can't see it the light I wouldn't be opposed to that because there's the speaking of a nation through his legislative and and judicial authority. So I wouldn't be opposed to that. I'll I'll, I'll look that I'll look at that one. And also because um, their languages are confused, they can give each other instructions. So that's kind of like. Hmm. Yeah. I see. I see where you're coming from with that. So. Oh yes. Amen. Amen. Confused. Amen. Yes, and it was brought brought back upon himself. Amen. So all these, I'm not saying I understand and all these things, but these are the things that we have to understand that that Biden's whole campaign. Th this is the season where everybody's of this one, 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 one movement, this one unity and all these things. But it's, we all know it's a false agenda. Go ahead, Quentin. Yes, I can. I can see that thought. I'll, I'll, I'll search, search that point out. Hmm. Okay. So Psalms 55 verse 9. Destroy, O Lord, and divide their tongues. So the dividing of their tongues or the scattering or the confounding of the language is this destruction. It's a fire that comes down at the end. For I have seen violence and strife in the city, because they're against each other, city against city. So now... Jumping down, I may not read all these paragraphs being about the Tower of Babel, but we'll read Page of Prophets 118. Um, ah, nice. 118.5 says, Here they decided to build a city and, and in it a tower of such stupendous height as should render it the wonder of the world. These enterprises were, were, were d d designed to to p p p p amen the the p p p p people from scattering abroad in colonies so they want to stay in this one in, in, in this one united colony this one company god had a amen men to disperse throughout the earth to to, re to replenish and subdue it but these babel builders determined to keep their community united in one body and to found a monarchy that was, that should eventually embrace the whole earth. Thus, their city would would become the metropolis of a universal empire. So we had to destroy this metropolis. This city must be taken down. Its glory would its glory would command the admiration and homage of the world, and render the founders illustrious. It's the same thing that she says in 1911 to 15. It's the same thing why why they build up build up all these um, buildings because they want the homage and and all this praise. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> 
it's not communism. Like, communism. yeah, it's not like communism. Is is all the okay? Yes. Communism. Amen. And because that's what um, when you take it to the enterprise, you know, mm-hmm. they 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 build the goods. Mm-hmm. So that community is mono, mo- monopolizing of the goods to creating that community, where mm-hmm. Wall Street building the finance. They, mm-hmm. That community they monopolizing the finance, and you put all in the one head because the same thing is a confederate one with another. Amen. Where? Disperse, amen. Ah, amen. Okay, so now you 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 just took, amen. You took Ezekiel thirty four, and now sh- showed the very same showed the very same truth because Ezekiel thirty four says that they feed themselves and don't don't go out and subdue su- subdue the beasts of the earth, in which, amen. It's the rich men. Go ahead, Michelle. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's the language of Canaan. Yeah. Yeah. I would say it has to be one because God only scattered them mm-hmm. when because of what they were doing, and He changed the languages. You know. Like they use the good things that the Lord gave them. Yeah. For evil. For evil. <coughs> mm-hmm. One language. And that's what the 144,000 is going to illustrate. Mm-hmm. All of God's people, no matter where they are, they speak the, the Canaan, the language of Canaan. Oh, Amen. That's what I was looking at, and I was like, that one language, which is definitely a prophetic, is that when you go to, um, at, during Pentecost, God um, allowed, I guess you have one language, but you have, have understanding. I don't know. Because at the end, uh, because of sin, mm-hmm. uh, because of what happened, you know, when the disciples, when they received the Holy Spirit, mm-hmm. they, they were able to understand different languages because they didn't listen to the world. Yeah, at that point they had one, one spirit, but, but spoke many languages yeah. to go and subdue but, um, the nations. So I was thinking, maybe because if, if that didn't happen, if, it, if they didn't go against God's word at the beginning, they, or, wouldn't, they wouldn't have to go try to, to, to you know, when they received the Holy Spirit, they wouldn't yes, have to go amen. Like, you know. Yes, yeah, speak, they, speak Arabic and Greek yeah, and all these different I, languages. They, Mm-hmm. That transition because now they all have one spirit. spirit, so it's no longer about the literal language, but it's about the message okay. that they that they're delivering. It's still one language because it was the, the Christ, hmm. okay. that and that's all they had, right? But the, but but the Lord used in diversity, which is what comes to mind. So that's just okay. How much time I have left, or okay, all right, so I'm gonna go through some of these, um, just a couple points from these quotes, and just showing that this is what what will happen under Biden's administration. So PP 119.2, the, the underlying portion, says the tower had reached a lofty height. So now this is when this, when, when this horn is great. So when this tower reaches a lofty height or this horn, horn becomes great, it's broken. So now the next, next paragraphs, I mean, next bolds, sorry. So the Lord confounds their language, and then um, it says that confu- confusion and dismay, and dismay followed. All work came to a standstill. There could be no further harmony or cooperation. Next, um, next bold says, there, there confederacy ended in strife and bloodshed. That's what happened with Abimelech. Lightnings from heaven as the evidence of God's displeasure broke off broke off the upper portion of the tower and cast it to the ground. Men were made made men were made to feel that there is a God who ruleth in the heavens. So we have these four winds just blowing now at one time. It says Okay, so I'll read the next paragraph, one twenty point one, up to this time. Someone 
went one way and some another. For the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth. This dispersion was the means of peopling the earth. And thus the Lord's purpose was accomplished through the very means that men had employed to prevent his fulfillment. Amen. So some men went north, some men went south, some went, went east and west. So those, those, those who spoke Greek stayed, stayed with the Greeks. Those who spoke English went, went, went with those who spoke English and, and so forth, so forth. So now, huh? Yes, they had, they had their unity, but it's divided now. These are the four horns that come up. Just as, and after a bit, um, not a bit, like Alexander, the four generals came up and they were the north, to the north, south, east, and west. And they all, they all separated, but they united with those in whom had the same language as them. When Christ came, Rome was speaking what language? One. So at the end, what did the Lord do? Ah, uh, confound the languages. Yes. The languages. Amen. Yes. Send them abroad. Ah, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Into Asia, Asia India, the all the... Thing. Amen. So, I would... I would say that... We can we can stop here, actually. I can make a part two off of this. But go back and read the Tower of Babel. There's many, many... There's, the Bible is filled with myriads of stories to show to show, show this king, yeah, this one truth. And all these stories illustrate the same truth, and it's all showing Satan's end. The reason being is because we're under the seventh plague. The seventh plague is poured out where? Into the air. It's poured out into the air, and the prince of the power of the air is the one who will feel it the most. Say, aim, ah, oh, yes. And the upper portion. Amen. So this is what... Amen. The highest men will feel it. The highest men in the government, the highest men in the... In the and and, and, and and the smaller governments will feel it. The highest the highest evil angel, Satan, will feel it. It's all all this is shown is the battle between the north and the south. It's the destruction of Satan that Christ wants us wants us to see. That he is being hurt. He's being hurt right now and his head is being crushed. We must see and understand that. But that being said, we can close out with a word of prayer. Carmel so Father in heaven, Lord we give thanks for this day and asking may forgive us for our sins. And Father, please help us to fight sin and self. Ask that you may cleanse a clean heart, renew the right spirit within us. Help us to, to have the right thoughts, right ways and deeds so that Satan might not rule rule on, on, on each mind here. Help us, Father, to learn, learn and see all that we, we need for this time. Help us, help us, help us to see each sign and, and, and to know what work we must do at 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 each each sign, O oh Lord, and we ask all these things in Christ's name. We pray, Amen.